Texas Attorney General Greg Abbott joins me now, Attorney General uh, of Texas. Good to have you uh, here today, sir. Um, what, what was your Thank reaction? You, good, good. Welcome, welcome. What was your reaction when you first saw the, the first ad? Well, it, it, listen, uh, my, my first reaction is uh, it was an act of desperation. Uh, Martha, this is the same type of commercial that we're seeing now by the Democrats across the country where they are saying things like uh, Republicans are responsible for Ebola. Uh, they, they lead to these hyperbole exaggeration ads as we're closing out the campaign. But listen, uh, Martha, my, my focus is uh, on running a positive campaign. I am the only candidate who is casting a vision for a better future for the state of Texas. And if my opponent wants to attack a guy in a wheelchair, she can do that. Uh, but it's not going to uh, point out the way in which Texas can be a better place by doing things like by increasing jobs, uh, by improving our roads, by improving our schools, and by preventing Barack Obama's agenda from taking over Texas. And in fact, Martha, I got to tell you, I think it's that latter point that's the reason why she's running this ad. She doesn't have anything to run on herself because she knows that she is connected with Barack Obama's big government agenda of raising taxes and imposing heavy-handed regulations that will crush the jobs in Texas. Well, so she you has may be left to right that, that she's in a, a difficult political situation. Let, let, let's pull up the most recent poll. Uh, this is the Real Clear Politics average of polls, and it shows you uh, with a pretty strong lead here, 51.3 percent. She is at 40 percent. Um, so she got a lot of heat for that ad. Uh, and then she, she came out yesterday, as we pointed out in the introduction here, with, you know, some people with, in wheelchairs. Basically, she's saying, Greg Abbott is telling you, you know, all of these things about himself, but, but her point is that she's calling you a hypocrite. She says that you haven't stood up for people who've been in a similar situation than you have been in. Do you want to respond to that? Uh, I'll, I'll be happy to, because uh, it is completely absurd. Uh, there is no attorney general in the history of the state of Texas who has done more uh, for those who are victims. Uh, I have uh, handed out uh, almost a half a billion dollars, that's with a B, a half a billion dollars uh, to those who have been victims. I, I set up an entire new unit to crack down on those who uh, commit sexual assault and I've taken 4,500 sex offenders off the streets. On that one example that she brought up at first, uh, you need to understand it was a jury of her peers, not me, who decided that that woman was unable to recover. And so all of these claims are just as absurd uh, as the claims that we've seen from the Democrats mm -hmm. saying that Republicans are responsible for Ebola. Yeah. Everything she has in there has been proven already. Uh, and, uh, but I'm going to uh, not worry about that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to worry about my fellow Texans and what they really need in this state, and that is to secure our border, uh, to create jobs and to build roads. One of the things I find really interesting, there was a reference that she made earlier in the campaign about standing up and uh, people said that they thought that was kind of a veiled reference to the fact that you were in a wheelchair. I think there were so many people in, in the larger country who had no idea that you were in a wheelchair until she kept pointing it out, which I, I think is, is just interesting, don't you? Well, e e even worse, Martha, and that is that some of the people connected with her group Battleground Texas uh, were caught on videotape snickering about her stand with Wendy campaign uh, because snickering because well her opponent is in a wheelchair how is that going to work mm -hmm. out it's very offensive Greg Abbott thank you very much uh, for being here and we look forward to watching this race as it unfolds in the coming weeks thank you very much thank you Martha we will know about